You're going to spell the words with a short U, a long A, a long E, and a long U. Six of your spelling words are grudge, thumb, afraid, slay, eager, and unusual. You're going to spell words with a long O, contractions, and a long I. These spelling words are phone, spoken, didn't, o'clock, idea, and hire. You're also going to spell words with a long O sound, oi, and oi, and compound words like gloomy, ruin, spoil, annoy, bodyguard, and all right. These are going to be approximately a metamorphosis. I'm only joking. It's beautiful and government, so please practice those 20 words for your revision task. Then we have grammar. We're going to do kinds of sentences, subjects and predicates, simple and complete sentences, compound sentences, common and proper nouns, and singular and plural nouns. Up, kinds of sentences. There are four kinds of sentences. Each kind requires a specific ending punctuation. A declarative sentence is a statement, and it gets a full stop. Something I say like mm, Egyptians used were the first farmers. Full stop. An interrogative sentence asks a question. Who was the first farmers? Question mark. An imperative sentence commands someone to do something. Go and do your work. Full stop. An exclamatory sentence shows strong feeling like ouch or no. Or stop, and that gets an exclamation. And then we have subjects and predicates. Every complete sentence has two parts. A subject names the person, place, or thing the sentence is about. A predicate tells what the subject is or does. The hungry monkey climbed a fruit tree. The subject is the hungry monkey. The predicate is what he did. He climbed a fruit tree. Simple and complete subjects. Use these rules to identify simple and complete subjects. The complete subject contains all the words that tell who or what the sentence is about. But the simple subject is the main word or main words in the complete subject. The brown deer jumped over the fence. The complete subject is the brown deer, but it is actually only about the deer. So that is the simple subject, just deer. And then we have complete predicates and simple predicates. A complete predicate contains all the words that tell us what the subject is or does, but the simple predicate is the main word or words in the complete predicate. Okay, so the brown deer jumped over the fence. The complete predicate is jumped over the fence. But what did the deer do? He jumped. So that jumped is the simple predicate. Simple means smaller. Okay? Compound sentences. A compound sentence is made by putting two or more simple sentences together. The parts are usually joined by a conjunction such as and, or, or but. A comma is placed before the conjunction. So when you have two sentences like I love going to the shop and I love going to the park and I put an and in it then I'm not going to say I love going to the park and I love going to the shop. No, I am going to make it simpler. I love going to the shop and park. Full stop. You do not need to put 
all the words in a sentence there. Please practice these at home before your test. A noun names a person, a place or a thing. Common nouns name any person, place or thing. Common nouns do not begin with a capital letter. Person is a teacher, place, park, a thing, a pine cone. Proper nouns name a specific person, place or thing. Proper nouns begin with a capital letter. Like Teacher Michaela, capital T, capital N. Live and Learn Academy, capital L, capital A, capital L, capital A. Okay? Proper nouns. And then we have singular and plural nouns. Singular nouns name one person, place or thing, where plural noun names more than one. To make the plural of most nouns, you just simply add an S. One chair, many chairs. One jacket, many jackets. One orange, many, many oranges. Unfortunately, it's not the case for all words. If the noun ends with an S, a SH, a CH, a X, or a Z, we add AES, like buses, dishes, benches, boxes. If the noun ends in a consonant followed by a Y, you change the Y to a I and you add a ES. One baby becomes many babies with the I E S. Story, stories, cherry, cherries. If a noun ends in a F or F E, you add a S to some, but change it, change the F to the V and add an ES to others. But you can hear it when you say it. Like one chief, many chiefs. You can hear there is a F. One belief, many beliefs. It's not chiefs and believes. No, there's a clear F sound. But you can hear it in loaf, one loaf, many loaves. One leaf, many leaves. Can you hear the difference between chiefs and loaves? One has an F and one has a V. Remember that when you're changing your words to plural. And then we are also going to test your comprehension. You're going to read your own comprehension test and answer the questions. It's I'm going to have a level A, a level B, a level C, a level D, and a level E test. You can stop wherever you want to, it's just to see where your reading skills are. That's all, folks.